Hey everybody and welcome to episode 158 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam and today we are going to be looking at the Splashify module. Uh, Splashify module is a module that really works with your marketing team and allows you to add content and have it appear um, on page load in a light box or other um, redirects or stuff like that and we'll get quickly into more of those features and hopefully uh, give you a good idea what the Splashify module can do. Um, but before we hop into all that fun, a couple housekeeping things. Uh, as you might be aware, make sure to check out our five secrets to becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja ebook. We released that uh, later last week and uh, great feedback so far. Definitely worth your checking out. Again, it's only $5. Appreciate if you could uh, check it out. Also, you can go ahead and follow uh, myself and Shane on Twitter. Um, better off following Shane, to be honest. You can follow him at smthomas3. Uh, he's a good follow in for Drupal knowledge and other wisdom. So make sure to follow him. All right, so let's jump into the Splashify module. Again, uh, Splashify module is just an easy way to display splash pages either in light boxes or redirects for a user. Splashify does come with a few other requirement modules. Um, a couple of those are the libraries module. You're also going to need to do the JSTORage plugin module, which can be found by clicking the link or on GitHub here. So you can fork it from there. Um, that needs to be dropped into the sites all modules. Uh, direct, or excuse me, sites all libraries folder. Um, as well as if you want to use the color box functionality, which I would probably recommend, you're going to need to install the color box module from Drupal.org, as well as the color box plugin. And again, that can be dropped in the um, sites all libraries folder as well. So if we actually hop over here, I'll show you all the different ones that I've installed so far. So in here, my sites all libraries. There's three different plugins I've used. Um, color box, which you should be aware of. Um, the J storage, that is the other one that's required. That basically allows for um, caching issues so people don't get the pop up multiple times and avoids annoyance with um, your users. And then the other one that I didn't, I just mentioning now is this mobile detect. Uh, mobile detect is a utilize, works with the Splashify module to display a pop up based on screen size. So you can actually specify a different pop-up or screen to show up if a user is on a mobile device or a tablet or a desktop. So it uh, using this plugin um, allows that functionality to be uh, possible. All right, so once you get those three plugins installed, again in the Sites All Libraries folder on your Drupal site, then you just need to install the Splash Splashify module. Um, that just can go in your modules folder. So once you get that installed, you just need to enable it. I'm going to turn the Splashify module on. Again, make sure you have your color box module also turned on on the Drupal site as well if you're going to use that functionality. Um, one thing to note too is if you ever get uh, confused or you need a further direction on the what exactly needs to be downloaded with Splashify. They actually provide really good documentation in the README file under the module. So that's where um, you can find out exactly um, what plugins do what and where to put them and everything like that. So um, definitely reference the readme.txt file on the module. So once you have the Splashify module um, enabled, you can go to the configuration page. Um, there's four different tabs on the top here, when, where, what, and how. Um, they kind of work left to right is how you build it. So we'll kind of work through this and get it all working and hopefully show you what it does. So first question, you know, when should the pop-up show up? Um, only show for, you can specify by role. Um, so we're going to say we only want to show up for anonymous users. But down here again, you could just restrict for certain roles if you had multiple roles on your site and stuff like that. But we want to only show up for the anonymous user. Uh, let's see here, how often should visitors see this splash page? It defaults to off, which obviously means it's not active, uh, but you can obviously specify always, once, daily, or weekly. Um, for this demonstration, we're just going to use always so we don't avoid any caching issues. But um, you obviously can specify that based on what you'd prefer. 
And then if you want, you can enable unique mobile splash, which this is what I was talking about earlier, where you can display a different splash screen based on screen size. And then again, you can set how often people will see that as well. In this demonstration, since it's on my desktop computer, I'm not going to show the functionality of how the mobile settings work, so we're just going to um, disable it for the settings. But again, you have to have that mobile uh, detect plugin um, installed to get the mobile settings to function. So we'll save the configuration there. And then we'll hop over to the Wear tab. Um, here is exactly what it sounds like. It's where is the thing going to be displayed. You can display it by front page, all pages, or you can again do list pages. You can specify one of two ways. You can list all the pages you want the screen to show up on, or if you can check this box below, you can do the inverse. So if you want it every page but the front page. Uh, for this example, we'll just do uh, all pages. That was going to be really annoying, but where's the example? Um, this is where you actually start to um, build out what your splash or your box is going to look like. Um, four different options in here. So you can pick a URL, so you can make a page and have it display through that, and it'll redirect to that. Or you can specify text. Um, and customize it that way. So for example, if I do this is my pop-up, make sure to select your text format here. No, we'll just, just filter text. So how this should work then is when my pop-up appears or my splash page, it should say this is my pop-up only. It'll be unformatted. So hopefully that's what happens. And then if you go to the how, this is how the actual splash page is going to appear. And this is where that color box um, option would come in. You obviously could redirect them to, a, to the page. You could open it in a new window or a new tab. Or you can do the color box option, which is the one I really recommend because it keeps your user on that same page. So that's pretty helpful. Um, then you can specify directly the size you want. Um, it's just be width and height, no pixels needed, but specifying it that way. And then we'll save that. And that should be it. So now what we should see is we should see a light box appear on every page saying, uh, this is my pop-up. So if we hop over to another browser, there was an old example here, but let's say we want to try this again. So we do a refresh. And then you see it says, this is my pop-up, unformatted. Again, this is the 400 by 300 width that I specified. Um, and then this is using that color box module pop-up. So pretty easy. You can also, back on this other screen, you can also customize this HTML, whatever way you wanted, or you could use CSS to style it. Um, so for example, if I type in this, just some inline style with color is blue, I save it. Now I'm gonna come back to my other screen and refresh. Oops. Save it right. Oh, forgot to change the text format to full. That was obviously it's not really cut out the rest of that. So I changed that back to full HTML and I refresh. And you can see that my text color is now changed to blue. So again, you could do inline styles here, or you could, you know, specify possibly a class of you know awesome or something or whatever you want. And then you could style that with a CSS style sheet and then get it to display. You could also put images in here as well. Um, whatever, it's fully customizable there, um, as well as specifying different pages and stuff like that. So you could um, path in URL aliases to redirect to. So then obviously you'd have fully customizable uh, pages there as well. But if you want to get it to appear in a light box and stuff like that, you can use classes or inline styles to get your styles to work. So that in all, in a nutshell, is the Splashify module. Um, really nice marketing tool for um, attracting users to either promotional items you're using or uh, ebooks or whatever else it might be. Um, obviously, pretty customizable um, with different um, settings and stuff like that. So, that's it for today's episode. Uh, also, you know, make sure again to check out our five secrets to becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja. Uh, appreciate if you could uh, purchase the book. All right, guys. Well, until next time. Thanks.